ang iyong tanglaw sa detalidad na edukasyon. Kasama mo. Kasama mo. Kaagapay mo ngayong bagong normal na edukasyon. Ito ang Radyo Eskwela. Radyo Eskwela. Edukasyon para sa lahat. Sulong edukalidad. Radyo Eskwela. Radyo Eskwela. Number KBP. Kapisanan ng mga pamparalang broadcaster sa buong Pilipinas. Inig na tuto sa Radyo Eskwela Ang iyong tanglaw sa dekadidad na edukasyon Ang iyong tanglaw sa dekadidad na edukasyon Good morning to our beloved grade 7. This is your school on the air in science. I am honored to be with you today for another learning on air. I am her teacher, Teacher Majorica from Santa Teresita National High School, Santa Teresita District Division of Cagayan. Make sure that you are in a comfortable seat and properly listening to our broadcast. May I just ask, have you eaten your meal already? That is great if you have a full tummy so that your minds are set and be ready for our session for today. Before we start our new lesson, may we have a review of the past lesson. I know you can help me recall our last topic. Last meeting, you were able to infer that waves carry energy by doing the activity named Wave of Life, wherein you were able to observe how wave is produced. Are you ready to know if your answers are correct? Let us check them first. Let us have the first question in the wave of life activity. What makes the rope move? Yes, the force coming from the hand, up and down movement of the hand. Let us move on to the second question. What makes the ribbon moves? Yes, the movement of the rope. Now, Describe the movement of the ribbon. Is the vibration of the ribbon in the same direction of the wave? Yes! The ribbon moves up and down but does not move in the same direction as the wave. We are finished checking your activity. How many correct answers have you got? I hope you answered them all correctly. Are you ready for our next lesson? Meantime, sit back and relax as you listen to this friendly reminder. Bridges are flooded and rendered impassable in Cagayan. Napansin-pansin, talagang napakalakas ng current. Mahirap lumakas. Nalubog sa baha ang maraming bayan sa Luzon. Marami ang natrap sa kanilang mga bubo. Naging pahirapan din ang rescue operation. Minsan nang sinubok, pinalubog, ngunit aahon. Ang kagawaran ng edukasyon kasama ang iba pang mga ahensya ng pamahalaan ay hinihikaya ang bawat mag-aaral, guro at buong komunidad na makiisa sa mga proyektong pangkalikasan at kahandaan sa sakuna upang bangungot ng nakaraan ay hindi na muling maranasan. Maging makakalikasan. Maging handa. Maging alerto. Isang paalala mula sa DepEd, DNR, and DRRMC at nang himpilang ito. Now that you have the basic understanding on how waves transfer energy, let us now move on to the next lesson. If you need to do some necessities, do them now before the actual airing of our lesson for today. The focus of our discussion for today plays an important role in our life. And without this, you cannot hear your surroundings or identify music from noise. What do you think it is? Aha! Uh -huh. We are talking about sound. Have you imagined how you will dance if you cannot hear the sounds? How will you sing? How will you even watch or understand a TV show? It shows how important sounds in our daily lives. It helps us to enjoy the things around us and continue to communicate with others. It enables us to send a message to someone aids as in letting out our emotions and serves as a channel for our enjoyment. That is why studying the characteristics of sound wave becomes very interesting. 
For today's episode, we will know more about the characteristics of a sound wave in the concepts of wavelength, velocity, and amplitude. In this topic, we will explore the following. What is sound? What are the characteristics of sound? And what are the roles of each characteristic in distinguishing sound? Let us first define what a sound is. Sound is a type of energy made by vibration that travels through the air and can be heard when it reaches a person's ear. Examples are an airplane taking off and a balloon popping. Can you give an example of sounds? That's great! Sound is composed of waves of compression and rarefaction, which are detected by the ears. These waves move through the air or other substances, strike our eardrums, and are heard by our brains. Your first task is to define terms to give us more understanding about the characteristics of sound wave. First, let us define wavelength. What is wavelength? A wavelength is a sound wave that indicates the distance that a wave travels before it repeats itself. The wavelength is a longitudinal wave that shows the compressions and rarefactions of sound wave. Second word to define is amplitude. Do you have any idea? Great! Amplitude refers to the magnitude of compression and expansion experienced by the medium the sound wave is traveling through. The amplitude is perceived by our ears as loudness. When a sound has high amplitude, it produces loud sound. Loudness is a sensation of how strong a sound wave is at place. It is measured in decibel. Loudness depends on the amplitude of the vibration. It will be louder if the amplitude is high. Example, when you plug the string of a guitar hard, the string will vibrate with a greater amplitude and it will produce a louder sound compared to the sound it produces when you plug the string softly. When the amplitude of vibration increases, the sound also increases. <laughs> Lastly, the velocity. What is velocity? Do you have any idea? Exactly! It is a characteristic of sound wave that tells us how fast the wave is moving and is expressed in meters per second. Since the speed of a wave is defined the distance that a point on a wave, such as compression or a rare fraction, travels per unit of time, it is often expressed in units of meters per second. In equation form, it is a speed equals distance over time. The faster the sound travels, the more the distance it will cover in the same period of time. There you have it! We just learned a lot about the characteristics of a sound wave. Make sure to remember what you have learned. Do you want to refresh your memory about the lesson discussed? Okay, we will have the recap of our lesson. In this broadcast episode, you learned about the characteristics of a sound wave. Can you give me three characteristics? Nice! We have the wavelength, amplitude, and velocity. What characteristic of a sound wave refers to as the distance between identical points between two successive waves? Very good! A wavelength! What characteristic of a sound wave that tells us how fast the wave is moving and is expressed in meters per second? Nice! It is the velocity. How about the characteristic that refers to the magnitudes of compression and expansion experience with the medium the sound wave is traveling through? Yes, an amplitude. Did you get it, learners? Nice! I hope everything is clear because you will be having a quiz. <laughs> I hope you can now use your knowledge for today's activity. Open your learning activity sheets on page 29 and study the best choice activity and answer the guide questions. 
Write your answers in a one whole sheet of paper. Now let us see if you really understand about the characteristics of sound wave. Are you ready? Nice! Let us get started! At this moment, you should have studied the best choice activity on your learning activity sheet. In this activity, just choose the letter of the best answer. <laughs> For item 1 and 2, consider the diagram given on your learning activity sheet to answer the questions. First item, the wavelength of the wave in the diagram is given by what letter? Second item, the amplitude of the wave in the diagram is given by what letter? For item 3, consider the second diagram to indicate the interval that represents one full wavelength. For item 4, an ocean wave has an amplitude of 2.5 meters. Weather conditions suddenly change such that the wave has an amplitude of 5.0 meters. The amount of energy transported by the wave is... For the last item, a tennis coach paces back and forth along the sideline 10 times in 2 minutes. The frequency of her pacing is... Are you done, learners? Nice! I am so excited to check your answers which will reflect your learning. That concludes our broadcast learning episode today, dear learners. Congratulations for successfully finishing the given task. I hope you were able to understand fully the lesson. Stay tuned for more lesson episodes for our School on the Air program. This has been your radio teacher, Teacher Majori Camillian from Santa Teresita National High School. Sharing a life lesson. A world without sound is a world of silence. What makes the world and life meaningful is based on what we experience through our senses and sense of hearing is noted to be the highest and the most powerful of all. Let us try to preserve the integrity of sounds that surround us or else our life's quality and richness will deteriorate. We should all live in harmony, sincerity, and in peace. Do and say only pleasant things and utter words calmly. Ito ang Radio Escuela. Radio Escuela. Edukasyon para sa lahat. Solo edukalidad. Radio Escuela. Radio Escuela. Ang iyong tanglaw sa dekalidad na edukasyon. Kaya natin to. 